do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drupal. <laughs> Hey, y'all, we back with another big body banger. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? Y'all vibing? I'm vibing too. Thank you for asking. You know what I'm saying? Before we get into the video, I know you've seen the title. I'm going to explain it all in a second. Just wait. Just, I got to say something first. Just wait. You ready? Do it. That kind of saying by two, third, free, one, luck. Play yourself $50. Copy yourself some heat. Good talk. So basically, all right, y'all know y'all can send me videos to react to and i will react to them and if i react to yours i'll give you a shout out you know what i'm saying and you'll become famous and rich then you have to give me 10 percent of everything you earn because i put you on and i always hold that over you that like i was the reason you became who you are because i was going to give you a shout out and got you started in the whole like game and everything like that but this reaction right here is not by anybody i saw it on my recommended page and i wanted to watch it because um the title of this video is called when celebrities get flirty right so you guys know who celebrity is. Basically, it's like a celebrity. Um, it's somebody with a little bit of clout, you feel me? Now, me personally, I, I never really use my clout to get girls. But I feel like these celebrities have a lot more clout than YouTubers. Like, even YouTubers with 10 million, 20 million subscribers. Freaking Michael B. Jordan has more clout than all of them, okay? Freaking Will Smith has more clout. I feel like they have a very big advantage. Like, I don't think that they can be curved. I don't think celebrities are curved like that unless they're like weird and like really like weird and they have no type of game and or they're just like really weird or cringy or something i don't know then i don't think they could be curved low key so um i'm interested to watch this because i want to see if they get curved because i'm curious how does it feel to be like a uh i'm trying who is single that's like a celebrity um like uh let's see uh i was gonna say will smith he, he got a girl i'm trying to think of somebody like famous famous the Rock got a girl. Kevin Hart got a girl. All right, somebody like Chris freaking Brown. Okay, somebody like Chris Brown. Does he get curved? Like, if he walks up to a random Joan, right? I'm not talking about, like, celebrity on celebrity type thing. Like, if Chris Brown goes up to, like, Rihanna, he'll probably get curved. Look, key. That was a, that was a horrible. <laughs> that was a, that was a, I don't know why I put those two together, considering their, their, their previous engagement. Okay, let's say Chris Brown is going up to freaking, um, Ariana Grande, right? I think he could also get curved by her. But if he goes up to a, re a regular girl, your sister, if he goes up to your sister, she not curving him. She's not. So I, 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 would she curve me? Would your sister curve? Would your sister curve me? Send her this video right now. Let her answer it. I just, I'm just curious. My Instagram is literally right over there. It says at you for underscore. So she would not curve me. I love you. Um, where was I going with that? I don't freaking know. But let's just get right into this video. I don't even know who they flirting with. I really just saw this thing and I was like, hey, let me turn on my camera and just start recording this in case it's funny or interesting or anything. I don't freaking know. When Cheryl Cole was a guest at the Graham Norton show with Michael B. Jordan, I don't know who that things Cheryl got Cole kind is. of flirty. But perhaps the most confusing signal was when Cheryl started doing some facial expressions after Michael commented that time flies. Wow. Yeah. Time flies. Oh, it really yeah, does. does. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> and well, that sparked some dating rumors between these two. But Cheryl cleared that up in an interview with Capital FM and said that they weren't in any type of relationship. Promise me nothing's happening, because I'm quite upset. No, I promise you nothing's happening. You promise happening. me. All right, thank you, Cheryl. That's a pinky promise. <laughs> so Gal Gadot famous. and Chris Pine were doing an interview together, and Gal Gadot was looking at him in a very flirty way. But then she kind of remembered she's married. Uh, I think the movie, the, the, this is a superhero film. Dang, girl, calm the heck down. You married and over here looking at a man talking about some. Oh, with my wife, love, bro. With this clip right there, man, talking about some. I'll pop you down in your neck. You, look at this girl. Thurston. Thurston. Uh, I think the movie, the, the... First, the big old smile. If a, if a girl holds a smile at you, she's looking at you and holds a smile. For over two seconds, she wants you. I speak female. I speak female language. I'm telling y'all right now, that's a Fendi fact. If she holds a smile for more than two seconds while looking at you, like a big smile like this, and she just got like a smile like this, 
she don't like you, okay? That don't mean nothing. That means you're weird and she don't like you and you're ugly and fat and stupid and you, you'll never find happiness in life. That's basically what that means. But if she got a big old smile like this with her eyes squinted like these, you know what I'm saying? That she goes into a... She wants you, okay? Let's count how many seconds she was smiling. 30 way. But then she kind of remembered she's married. Uh, I think One, two, three. Three with the lip bite. Three with the lip bite. She's thirsting. She wants this man. Okay, we're not even gonna talk about it no more, but I just gave y'all a secret. If y'all ever see a girl that looks at you and she smiles for two seconds, like a big smile, I'm not talking about a little smile, like, hmm, I'm talking about a big smile for two seconds, you have her. You in there, my guy. You in there. Uh, I think the movie, this is a superhero film. And well, that was not the only time Gal Gadot and Chris Pine were seen flirting with each other. Where I'm like, that's right, be a hero, but be like a beautiful, kind, loving. He just winked, bro. If my wife got winked at by somebody on TV, I swear, I s -s 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 swear, s -s 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 swear, I'm blowing the whole TV station up. No cap. Flirting with each other. More, where I'm like, Look at that's this. Right, be a hero, but be like a beautiful, kind, loving. That ugly wink too. He barely winked. Look his other. eye. More, Both his I'm eyes like, twitched. Right. Watch. Be a hero, but be like a beautiful. Stupid. I she yeah yeah. Did y'all see the way she opened her mouth for that water? Nope. Okay, listen, listen. I'm breaking this down for y'all right now, man. Y'all know I speak female fluently. I speak fluent female. Okay. Nobody on a regular occasion when they drink in the water. I'm not gonna make it with my mouth because it's sus. But nobody on right. Imagine this is my mouth right here. Nobody makes, nobody sucks the whole thing in there like that. You feel me with the water bottle, how she has it. It's more of like a, your mouth, the, the water bottle's like these. And you got your lip, like this ain't making no sense. But you know what I'm talking about. Your lip is only covering half of it. And you, oh my gosh. I tried not to do nothing sus. But I just sucked. I literally just sucked. No homo, big pause, ayo. But look at how wide she opens her mouth. First of all, the bottle is this big. She opened her mouth for these big. This big, watch, watch. It's I'm I'm telling you, I read females like a book. Kind, loving person who, who's fighting for the right thing always, and even has. Look at that! She wants him. She's giving him all the type of signs. Y'all ever seen these videos on YouTube? The leaning my crush on, prank, all that type stuff. She's doing that in real life in the middle of an interview. Kind, Run it back. Who's fighting for the right thing always and even has the right oh the my gosh. to be When Sway Lee was about to leave an event, a fan came up to him That's and asked fan? for a picture. Man, and let's just say that he really liked the fan, and apparently she liked him too. He even him. said something along the lines of taking her number, but couldn't do it because of all the cameras. Damn, I like your accent. Well, thank you. I'm from Australia. Hey man, what are you gonna be in the next movie? Rapper Lil hey. Pump was watching Billie Eilish's Instagram Live and decided to shoot his shot by commenting some very weird comments, saying, You're the love of my life. Okay, simp, 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 simp. I ain't even read the messages, but I see there's a lot of messages. So let's read this. You're the love of my life with a heart. Simp. Please let me wife you. Extra simp. I'm serious, super simp. Let me take you on a date, spectacular simp. Oh, let me get on that. Extravagant simp. All right, babe, I'm out. Simptastic! Lil Pump is a simp for Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish, out of all the people, I ain't roasting Billie Eilish. Honestly, I don't even know. I feel, I feel like Billie Eilish is a pretty big artist, but I don't know a single song by Billie Eilish. And I feel like y'all's gonna flame me or get mad or something, but I really don't. Her biggest song on Spotify is Bad Guy. I don't want to play it because I'm going to get copyrighted, but I, don't, I can't say I've ever listened to a Billie Eilish song. But Billie Eilish out of all people. And decided to shoot his shot by commenting some very weird comments, saying, you're the love of my life. Please let me wife you. Let me take you on a date. And finally, all right, babe, I'm out. And well, it proceeded by her bursting out laughing and saying no thanks. No thanks? Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. What did she say? Run it, run it back. All right, babe, I'm out. And well, it proceeded by her bursting out laughing and saying no thanks.
I can't even say what I'm laughing at. <laughs> Oh, he went out sad. He went out sad. Adriana Lima, who's a former oh, Victoria. L's in the chat for a little pump right now, man. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. She laughed. She literally laughed. It would have been fine if she said no thanks, but she busted out laughing for at least three seconds. I don't need to break down. What busting out laughing at three seconds when you shoot your shot means. Y'all should know what that means. Alice in the chat. No thanks. Adriana Lima, who's a former Victoria's Secret model and arguably one of the most beautiful women in the world, it's was cat. in an interview. That's cat. Rate her on a scale from one to ten in the comments right now. On a scale from one to ten, rate her right now. Please rate her. She's not ugly, but she's not all that. I would give her a seven. No cat. She's not that beautiful. What's her name? By the Google. Lima, who's a former. Lima? Adriana Lima. Adriana Lima. Adriana Lima. Let's see. How do you spell Adriana? Um, Adriana Lima. Ew. Wait, it's not an ill, but it's... She's arguably the most beautiful woman in the world? Anthony, throw a picture up there. She's the, obviously the most beautiful? She ain't... She is... She ain't ugly, okay? Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying she butt ugly, but I'm giving her a seven. I'm rating her a seven. What would y'all rate her? I don't know. I ain't roasting her. I'm not doing none of that. Like, I really... Never mind. Why am I talking about this girl like this? Who's a former Victoria's Secret mom. Honestly, the only reason I say anything is because he says she's arguably one of the most beautiful... Something. And arguably one of the most beautiful women in the world with... Cap. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. In an interview with Craig Ferguson, when things got blurty. No, but don't you think, um, really, you are very lovely, aren't you? Really is. Thank Shocking. you. Um, when you, <laughs> oh my goodness me, what do you do on a normal day then? When Justin Bieber got a little flirty and tried hugging Ariana Grande from behind during a concert, she rejected him on stage. Probably hey. because at the time, she was dating Big Sean. I forgot they dated. I forgot Ariana Grande and Big Sean dated. That's big. That's weird. I felt like two different people. Didn't Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande date too? Did they? Or was that someone? Justin Bieber? I feel like he did. They probably did. I don't know. Oh, he was trying to shoot It's shot. no secret that Drake has a crush on Nicki Minaj. He even talked about it in an interview. I've always, like, really, actually, really had a crush on her. Like, always really loved her. She's always just looked at me as, like, a little brother. And, well... Dang. That was in a chat for Drake. Even Drake can get brother zoned. Like, if y'all didn't know, brother zone is actually a lot worse than friend zone. Friend zone is more like you the friend. Brother zone, you gotta listen to her talk to you about all her crushes and all the dudes in her life. Because that's, like, your brother. If you in the brother zone with your crush right now, you might as well just quit. Just quit. You're never getting her. You're never getting other brothers on. It's incest at that point. And that's not happening unless you you in Alabama or something. That was in the chat for all the brothers that have fallen into the brother zone. There are even some clips showing Drake flirting with Nikki, in which she doesn't seem really interested. Keep on being amazing. Thank you. And thank you for inviting me. Yes. Are you leaving right now? Yes. When Ollie Mers Dang. and Mila Kunis were guests at the Graham Norton Dang. show, Graham decided to tell on Ollie Mers in front of Mila Kunis about a tweet he made revealing he had a crush on her. Someone tweeted you uh, this question. If you could have kids with any celeb, oh, no. who would you have them with? Oh, no, no. Oh. Way back in the day, there were some interviews in which we could see Keanu Reeves Angelina and Sandra Jolie. Bullock flirting Wait, with each other. Is that Angelina Jolie? Sensitive, you guess? See? So sensitive. See? Yeah, he's... I'm sensitive. He is sensitive. Yeah. That's why the ladies like you. <laughs> why do you like me better than anyone you've ever worked with? Because <laughs> you're the best. And well, several years later, Ellen asked Sandra Bullock if they ever dated. Oh, Sandra Bullock. Who's Angelina Jolie then? Who is in... Ah, oh, look at that. Angelina Jolie. Here's some information. Angelina Jolie looks like the other girl, the model girl, I think. 
I don't freaking know. To which she responded they didn't, because she thought Keanu didn't like her. And well, Keanu later told otherwise. Did you date him? Never dated him. Really? I, there was just something about me that I guess he didn't like. <laughs> did you know that she had a crush on you? No? Did you, did you, did you she have She obviously didn't know I had a crush on her either. Wow! Plot twist, dudes, listen, break it down. So, you see this right here. The girl admitted to having a crush on, um, on him, right? And he did never admit it that he had a crush on her. So, for what I'm saying this for is a lot of dudes out there, a lot of you, y'all probably have a crush right now. It's probably somebody you like. And you, and, and you scared, okay? You want to end up like these two and never talk? Or do you want to shoot your shot at your crush right now and be like, I like you. If you like me back, cool. If not, you could suck my... You could suck my heart, because that's basically what you're doing right now. You're sucking my heart at him because it hurts. So I say if you got a crush right now, if you're watching this video, listen, this is what I'm going to do for you. If you watch this video, DM your crush right now or DM message them, whatever it is, DM your crush right now and say, I'm going to be honest. I'm low-key feeling you. You feel me? Don't say I like you, just say I'm low key feeling you. And screenshot it and send me the response on Instagram. DM it to me on Instagram. I want to see the response of what they say to that. Um, if it's a W, you're welcome. If it's an L, I didn't tell you to do nothing you had to do. I just suggested it. So if you lost your crush because what I said is not my fault, it's your fault. Maybe if you weren't so ugly. Good talk. Ow. Not sure if this is considered flirting, but during a concert, Camilla and Sean were kind of staring at each other. Wow, staring, flirting, wow. I'm staring at you, am I flirting with you? No homo? That's Even though Scarlett cool. Johansson was married at the time, there were still some occasions in which we can see her and Chris Evans playfully flirting. You know what I mean? Scarlett's always in superhero shape. <laughs> Don't let her tell you anything otherwise. Yeah, you know. That Black Widow suit slips on and off pretty easily. Don't she, tell how would you know? She's just ready to go. That's not what that sounds like, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what am I looking at? <laughs> what probably was one of the biggest Cristiano Ronaldo fans went to ask him some questions at a press conference. And after Cristiano Ronaldo gave her a hug and a kiss on the cheek, she was visibly very happy. Hi. Well, this one is a quite interesting one. There was a gym account who had only 70 followers at the time, and somehow Justin Bieber found a post to the gym account in which a girl named Jessica was posing. And apparently, Justin was interested and decided to slide in the DMs and ask who the girl posing was. This was made public by Jessica, who tweeted Justin's DMs and later also posted a picture with her boyfriend with the caption, I've got everything I need right here. Dang. At the 25th Imagine your girl being loyal to you when Justin Bieber slides into your freaking DMs. Girls ain't me like that no more. They let the mailman slide in their DMs while they, while they, while they with you. They'll literally let the garbage man slide in your DMs while they with you. Justin Bieber freaking slid in her DMs and she curved him. Cause she had a man's. That's a W right there for y'all females. That's a W for y'all females right there. 15 VMA awards, Drake kind of professed his love to Rihanna in a lengthy speech praising her. And who hasn't changed since day one. Drake gotta be one of the biggest simps. I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm not, <laughs> I'm really not gonna hold you. But I get it, he's light skinned. She's someone, she's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years what old. What in the simp Timothy's Drake? Come on, man, how you gonna say this on national TV? You've been in love with somebody for 10 years. How you gonna say this, Drake? Please, please don't do that to yourself. She's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. Now it's just awkward. Justin Bieber decided to shoot his shot with Selena Gomez on stage, even though Selena didn't seem interested at the time, based on her facial expressions, and even said it in some interviews afterwards. You're very beautiful. Maybe we, maybe we go out sometime. Okay. I want to say thank you. No, no, he's like my little brother. Hey, dang, dang it's another L in the chat. Another L in the chat. For Justin Bieber, he got brothers owned by Selena Gomez. We hate to see it. Like the comments, things did end up working out for Justin Bieber because they ended up dating for a while. They did? At a morning show. Bro, I thought nobody could get out the brother zone. Wait, y'all got hope. He got out the brother zone, but he's Justin Bieber. Yeah, you, you. Yeah, you. He's Justin Bieber. I don't, I don't know if it applies for you. 
yeah, it's, I think it's still dead for you, my guy. If you're in the brother zone, you, it's still dead for you. The topic came up about how it was working with Henry Cavill. Amy Adams made some comments that kind of made Henry blush. It must have been so challenging having to work with Henry it's every awful. day. It's just so awful. It's just too bad about his face, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's such a nice guy, and then, you know. I kind of feel bad because in all of the press, it's like obvious, so people are constantly asking the question, and then I'm like, Henry's going to take out a restraining order on me if I <laughs> keep talking about how cute he is and like giggling in his presence. But I when Margot Robbie and Will Smith were doing some press for the back then new movie Focus, Margot kind of exposed Will Smith's use of breath spray. Got this really lovely um, Easy. breath spray. Oh. That, um, <laughs> Tastes uh, like yeah, Christmas. Your breast spray, yes. It's like he's uh, just eating a candy cane. <laughs> really? It tastes so Christmas. Uh, How does she uh, know what it tastes like? Wait. Never mind. When Instagram model Amanda Cerny went to say hi to soccer player Neymar, he apparently liked her and even winked at her after they took a picture. Okay. Okay, so um, they're not really flirting with regular people. Well, the only one that was was Ray Schremer, the, the sway guy, I think. I don't freaking know. Um, but they kind of flirting with with other famous people. Maybe I got it. Never mind. Never mind. Be Easy was being interviewed by a radio station. He got kind of flirty with one of the hosts, which left her a little bit speechless. I love that you're wearing the colors of the UAE as well on your, around your oh, neck. Oh yeah, I did that for you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, G Easy. Um, Be Easy. Uh, I I lost what I was going. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that was that was a big deal. I was I was very appreciative that they were. How do they tell like you that? that? Like, how do they do they deliver the news? Send it by email. Send you a tweet. How do you when Roman from Capital FM and Ariana were talking on Tinder, he decided to shoot his shot with Ariana Grande, and let's just say that it didn't turn out like he probably wanted. Would you ever swipe right on me? I am uncomfortable with this question. Whoa! This is putting me on the spot, man. I don't have Tinder. Wow. Did I hurt your feelings? Yes. During the James Corden show. Kendall Jenner and Harry Styles were playing the game Spill Your Guts, in which you have to answer a Whoa. question or eat something gross. That's a weird name. And well, they Spill Your Guts? That's what you came up with? Spill Your Guts? Cod sperm? What the heck? What? Wait, what are they eating? Grasshoppers? Sardine smoothie? Bull penis? Fish eye? What the duck is happening? I want to watch this. Exes, things became very flirty. <sighs> Dying to know this. Which songs on your last album were about me? <laughs> but I want to see them eat the, the stuff. David Dobrik is a YouTuber who has over 17 million subscribers. And during one of his vlogs, he revealed that Madison Beer had crushed on him for a long time. Madison's only in the guys that don't want anything to do with her. That's why she had a crush on me for like eight months. I'm not, I'm not respond. <laughs> and a couple of months later, she went on David's podcast, and they kind of settled on going on a date together. I'll go on a date with Madison. Like, I know I'm not just saying that, like, in like a, in like a, oh, I have to. I'd be like, that'd be pretty interesting to get to know, know, know Madison. I think you know me pretty I well. I can tell that she's interested in you. Are you interested in me? You know I've had a crush on you. Let's not, let's not have to revisit this. Right. Almost nine years ago, Kylie Jenner had a bit of a crush on Cody Simpson. And well, apparently her sister Cody Kendall Simpson. really wanted them to date, and even went as far as saying that they were going to get married. Cody Simpson, because they'd be so cute together. Shh. Who's Cody Simpson? I just want to love you on the And well, apparently things did end up working for Who Kylie, because Cody her and Cody actually dated back in 2011. During an interview at Comic-Con with the Riverdale cast, before they were dating, Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt started playing some hand games with each other, while their cast member Ashley was talking with the interviewer. Dang. Do a lot more music in... Uh That's it? Alright. I'm um, honestly, listen. I, did, I don't know what happened here. I feel like they all got curved. All of them got curved. None of them got what they wanted. Literally. The Sway Lee guy, he was about to get what he wanted, but the cameras was on. See, if that was me, I wouldn't have cared if the cameras was on. I'd have been like, hey, hopping on the back of my G-Wagon or something. I just think, you like ice cream? You like pizza? You like me? I can give you all three, baby. <laughs> Why don't you come see? 
Good talk. But um, yeah, that's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed, make sure you like right now. And I'm saying, if you want me to react to something that you want me to react to, DM me on Instagram at Juba underscore. Before you dip out, Juba.com. I'm saying buy two or three. free. One luck. Say something for dollars. And um, yeah, I'm going to see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through